Hello all of my friends and welcome back to more Pokemon Coliseum. In the last episode, we kicked out Mirror B from Pyrite Town and made it all the way to Agat Village. God, I never... Agate Village. And in this episode, we're going to do some splorin'. God, look at this area. Um, let's start off looking in here. It's a Torchic. Dun -dun. Oh, you're Egan's granddaughter, aren't you? Come to think of it, he's been telling everyone that you're coming for a visit. He seemed awfully pleased. Don't worry, we're just like two weeks late. There's a little bit of a cave off to this entrance here. And you can really tell we're basically on the edge of forever. City on the edge of forever. Oh, so spooky. There's just two other boxes here. We've got one Silk Scarf, which raises the power of normal type moves, and two Ultra Balls. Nice. Replaces two of them that we used earlier to capture that Shadow Sudowoodo. Got him here. I believe there's a Pokemart up here. Yeah, right here. I'm not sure if we can buy balls from here. Let me double check. Hello, welcome to our Pokemon. Yeah, we can't, but... Okay, we'll get into these later, but another interesting thing is that we can now buy HP ups, irons, cal carbos, calciums, and zincs. Calcium is the one that raises special attack. Am I gonna buy any right now? No, <laughs> I don't need to. That's too expensive. Let's go into this house. Ah, it's Egan's beloved Penny. Or was it Penny's beloved Egan? Now, which are you? Ah, it's the... I mean, it's the same thing? Ah, Penny, you finally arrived. Oh, and you're with a friend, too. I know it's hardly any of my business, but it pays to choose your friends carefully. What is that supposed to mean? I'm kind of offended. I mean, I know it looks shady, but come on, man. And this is where Egan's grandpa lives. We're not going to go in there. Quite yet. Oh, this is the daycare. You can put day you can put your Pokemon in here. I don't know if uh, this is a way to speed up the shadow uh, purifying process. Actually, speaking of which, let me take a look. Take a look at these. That's good. Not bad. So yeah, let's actually switch them back to the front lines. Uh, Swablu. And Fluffy. Espeon doesn't need to get any stronger. But yeah, you can't breed any um, any eggs in this game. Just because they want you to use what you have. Why, if it isn't Penny, it's been too long. Is that young man your boyfriend? Ahaha, ha, I know why you're back. You've come. You came to introduce your boyfriend to Egan, didn't you? Well, Penny, I should introduce you. Introduce my boyfriend to you. You see, my boyfriend is this Mariana here. Ho ho ho. Run away! That was creepy! What the? Leave your Pokemon with a daycare in the village. Most people will come back in a much happier state of mind. Or most Pokemon will come back in a much happier state of mind. You should give her a try. Leave a Pokemon with her and see how she likes it. He, how he, she, it likes it. No. My Pokemon are my best friends! Alright, I saw this guy up here. talk to him. This is kind of an arbitrary, out-of-the-way place. I would love to live here. I would love to, like, take a nap behind this waterfall. Super Bubba. Do you see this? My tail brings me berries from somewhere every day. Here, I'll share one with you. Oh, this guy just gives you random berries. Okay. You'll probably just want me to come back tomorrow. But I won't want to. Um... There's nothing. Here is the Pokemon Center. I came to tap the knowledge of the villagers about Pokemon. After all, even though they're retired, they were all great trainers in their prime. 
I've given up on battling, but I never neglect checking the health of my Pokemon. Gah, oh, 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 my back. Hmm. It seems I should be the one getting my health checked. He seems so nonchalant about it that he's basically just dying. Alright, we can go down here. That way is blocked off. We'll go there later. But we want to go back here. There's a the thing. One quick claw. I would like to give that. Whoops. I would like to give that to Knockdowl. I feel like Knockdowl can use that. She can use it to be a quick boy. Or a quick girl. Jeez. So, yeah, I guess this, uh. This really didn't take all that long to go through. All right, let's, sorry, I was just checking something out. Let's go visit her grandfather. Grandpa Ega and Grandma Bella, I missed you. Ah, Penny, welcome, welcome. We heard that you were coming, but then you didn't arrive. We were worried about you, dear. You finally arrived. What held you up? I had just, I had just this terrible time, just this terrible time, you know, I was abducted by these creepy people, then I was saved by this random guy who happened to be there by their coincidence. Oh, how frightful. Thank you for so much for saving our granddaughter. But why would anyone want to harm Penny? It's probably because I can see these bizarre Pokemon. They're shadow Pokemon, Pokemon that have been turned into fighting machines with hearts of darkness. Shadow Pokemon? What on earth is that? Well... Help! There's trouble! There's evil afoot! Evil! Egan, it's a serious situation. Some outsiders went into the Relic Forest. What? Who are they? I I don't know. They shoved me aside and... That's enough talk. It can wait. I'm off. Meow. Sounds like we need to go there too. Relic Forest, if you recognize that guy for a hot minute. Is this little area down here? And would you look at that? Cypher has infiltrated. Let's go. Hey, what? Here comes another meddler. That old man earlier, he trampled me when I let my guard down, but that won't happen again. Oh god. Dovin sent out Sveal and Carvana. Holy smoke, Swablu is down a lot. This might be a little difficult. Um, Swablu also now knows Fly and Safeguard. Nice. And I still know Jack Swablu. Okay. Surf, that can be potentially dangerous. That was really dangerous because it was a critical hit. Oh. I don't want to have to send on my other Pokemon because I want Swablu to get some experience. Holy crap. Save with a coil. And it hits me with drop skin. So double edged sword there. And a rock smash. Even, though, even a critical hit didn't do jack squat. Oh, nice! Okay, I want Swablu to knock out that Carvana. And Fluffy to knock out. Ooh, what you gonna use it on? Dude! I think Swablu's gonna go down. Unfortunately. Oh, maybe. Yeah, there it is. Okay. And Fluffy Shadow Rush. Not bad. Please don't use it on Swablu. I could use Fly, but no, I need to heal. And 
Shadow Rush. Hopefully this will get close to knocking it out. I don't think it will. Nope. I thought it was. This feel used to surf. Okay, there's that special defensiveness that's come oh coming into play. And I think it's safe to say that Swablu is gonna get the kill. Way to go. Ouchies! Sorry, Dovin. You suck. And I got money for winning. <clears throat> Why are the villagers here so ridiculously strong? Strong, you say? Let's heal again. Let's move forward, fight this guy. No, forget about it. You're not going any farther. Wanna bet, Silton? True mission, Cacnea. Swablu and Flafly. Any of you music nerds just cringed. Um, Shadow Rush on Cacnea. Swablu's gonna do some pretty good. Oh boy, we got we got hyper mode coming. Jeez, look at the critical hits with these guys. Come on. Hit two times. Yeah. I don't want to call. Decent chunk out. And Swablu's gonna use Fly. I'm kind of surprised Headbutt isn't a move that hits with Recoil. Um, yeah, I'll take out that Shroomish. Unless F and Flaffy wants to go. Nope, I guess not. Kekka's attack missed. Shroomish is going for the. Well, not the kill, but going in for. Try to kill, but to no avail. Swablu knocks out Shroomish. And Flop is going to Shadow Rush, maybe Critical Hit? No, but we'll take him out alright. I'm okay with that. Roadblock attempt failed. You fail! Ah, fooey, I'm not feeling well today. Sucks to suck. And I don't have any more potions. Nice. Alright, well. Let's move forward. Ah, just kidding. Boo, F you, F you, F you. Scared you, didn't I? Bet you weren't expecting that, folks. We got Cypher Peon Cass. Oh, look, a normal name. Spelled stupid, but still normal. Baltoin Ralts. Dude, level 34 and 35. Are you kidding me? Alright. Trace my static. Let's use Fly on Ralts. Ah, oh, we were so close. All right, let's, let's go to Poopin. And you know what? Let me check here. Ah. I'll keep him in. Poppy's just gonna be hurting pretty hard. Um, bow toy. Damn. 
Swablu flew up high. Okay. Good thing I'm using physical moves. Also, how has that Ralts not evolved into a Gardevoir at this point? Like, I understand we're still fairly early in the game, but still. Cosmic power. I bet special defense is raised. Oh, just regular defense. Oh, never mind. It raises both. Okay. Groovy. Critical hit. Nice. It's out of the park. Oh, I suppose. Okay, Curly is a little bit more understandable. Hmm. That's only can prove to be a little bit difficult. I'm going to use Fly on Curly again because that did me wonders. And this has got to take out Fly. Yeah. Should have seen it coming. Let's send out good old Croconaw. Curlia. And Croc's gonna use Surf. Because I think Baltoy's going down. There's no way it's not. It's, well, maybe. That's it's more it's it's a defensive Pokemon. Curly, on the other hand, I have no doubt that it's gonna go down after a surf. Ooh, that did way less than I thought. Oh man! Ooh, and this this confusion's gonna hurt. Yup. Yup, that hurt. Um, I'm not gonna use fly. Use Shadow Rush and Surf again. Dude, your Balthoy is basically a tank at this point. Holy crap. Yep. I didn't think it was going to go down. But now both Balthoy and Curlia are. And there we go. So dramatic. And I won. Defeated Cass. I'm shocked over this loss. Come on, man. I'm the main protagonist. You should have known you were going to lose. Little boy, you're shockingly strong. Little boy. Little girl. All right, I want to send out. Shoot. I'm gonna put Crockett on Flaffy in the lead, but I need to go heal, so. BRB. Alright, now that we're all healed, let's move forward. Oh, Penny, Egan is in a heap of trouble. What shall we do? What shall we do? Egan might be the mythical trainer, but he's pushing his luck if he thinks he can battle at his age. He's just commanding. I think he's fine. You! Who are you? What are you doing here? Although you may ask why we are here, we simply cannot answer that. I see that you are a senior citizen, but I cannot allow you to interfere with our affairs. You're the ones interfering. Shady creeps like you are personally renowned. <laughs> now, now, someone so old shouldn't overdo it. Don't take me for a fool. I'll have you know I was known. I was once hailed as the most powerful trainer. That's it isn't all either. I have a comrade with whom I've been through thick and thin. This is the first Pokemon I got, and it's been with me ever since. Okay, Pikachu, we haven't battled like this much in a while. Let's keep focused. And we just get to sit back and watch Cypher Peon scrub, scrub the floor with, uh, whatever he's got. And would you look at that? It's a single battle, and we don't even get to participate. And of course, it's a shadow Pokemon. Quick attack doesn't do a lot. Now, you might think that this battle is scripted, and it is scripted to a point. I like this right here. 
It can be very possible for- Oh my gosh, yeah, see? I guess I can talk about it later. Yeah, I didn't think so. And sad boy do it down. Maybe you should have used Thunderbolts? Maybe? Instead of using Quick Attack since he was paralyzed? Foo. Didn't I say out didn't I already say an old man shouldn't overdo it? Have no fear, I'm here! Oh, that was Pikachu. Pika Pika! How dare you? You'll never get away with this. Ah, now here's someone who may show me more a more enjoyable time. Very well. On guard. I love that. That instead of saying, let's battle, it's just on guard. And now we're back into a double battle. So that battle is scripted to a point. It very well could be that um, Pikachu uses quick attack, gets a critical hit, paralyzes, and him on top is either A, fully paralyzed, or it can miss. It's very rare, but it is a high possibility that Croc or uh, Pikachu can get critical hits and uh, they can miss. I really want to get rid of that hit on top fast. I think I can snag it. I don't want to miss it. Oh, that defense. That's what. That's what's gonna make it real tough. Ah, uh, see, it's so hard because I'm going up against Pokemon literally eight levels higher than I am. Granted, don't don't worry. We are incredibly close to getting being able to purify these Pokemon. Oh, that's ah, uh, oh, that hurt to see. Oh, that hurt. But luckily, these are my two more weaker team members. I've got two in reserve that are absolute bants. All right, big gun number one. Let's go. Well, technically, he's number two. Not for long, though. He's probably used to fly. Super effective. I'm gonna push my luck here. I don't think this is gonna capture it, which is why I'm going to use Shadow Rush here. But if it does, I think we're good. Yeah, I didn't think so. Crap. I always like person pushing my luck in these situations though, because you just you just can never know. Yep, and so we're gonna have big gun number two coming out. Espion, go forth! I'm close to a level up here too. Turn on. On why not? And I'm gonna test my luck again because actually it's a little bit lower than half now. One, two, three. Nice. Only two tries. Not bad. Him on top of us into the PC storage system. So this is something I'd like to bring up, actually. Let's say you capture the Shadow Pokemon, but you lose the battle overall. Do you lose that ball? No, you actually get to keep it, which is really nice. I love that. I absolutely love that so much. Okay, now I can use Confusion on Clam Pearl, and let's use Flan. Why not? Now we have this battle in the bag, because Confusion, yeah. Espeon's keeping up real nice here. 
the difference I can improve. Iron defense. Oh no, I'm hitting you with my special defensive or my special offensive Pokemon anyway. Okay. There goes Clam Pearl. Oh, this will be an easy one. Oh, okay. But it failed. All right, use confusion and shadow rush on why not, and we have this in the bag. We won. We scrubbed the floor with scrub, and a useless, pointless critical hit. A useless, pointless critical hit. I English good guys. And a special attack. It's, it's not good, special defensive wise. Yep, I had no problem. I had no doubts that that wouldn't take him out. And here we go. Play defeated Cypher Peon Scrub. I should have declined. It's because I'm stronger than you, my friend. I have been instructed to capture Celebi, then destroy the Relic Stone, but matters have not gone according to plan. I shall have to I shall have to immediately inform Dakim who has gone to Mount Battle. Grandpa, are you okay? I'm fine, but my partner. Ah, you're safe. Good, good. You battled with honor. If your opponent was any ordinary Pokemon, you would have won. So that was a shadow Pokemon. Oh sorry. Mm. Penny and Kaylin, am I right? Thank you for helping us. We should go home for the time being, but I had stuff to do. Okay. You really had me worried. Please don't do anything so rash and dangerous again. I'm sorry, dear. I'm sorry, dear. But I couldn't very well let them have their way. Those crooks, they said they were out to capture Celebi in the Relic Stone. Hmm, why? Might Celebi be a connection? Might there be a connection between Celebi and Shadow Pokemon? Oh no, that's not good. We came here because we thought you would know something, Grandpa. Hmm, sorry to disappoint you. Oh yes, dear, didn't we have a stone tablet? It had something about the Relic Stone carved into it. Ah, yes. Yes, we did. We... Ah, shit. Ah, yes. Yes, we did have such a stone tablet. Now, where could I have put it away? Let me go look for it upstairs. It may take time, so please be patient. While well, she's looking, you might try gathering some more information on Celebi. Go see an old man named Senilor. He lives near the Pokemon down the hill. Senilor is the authority when it comes to Celebi. That is, if he remembers. As much as I'd love to do that... Oh, we need to, I want to check the TV first, see if I think I have anything on Mirror B. We received breaking news. Mirror B, the brutal crime lord of Pyrite Town, has been defeated and driven out of town. Reports claim that two young people were behind Mirror B's downfall. Their identities and where they came from are unknown. Thanks to their heroic work, Pyrite Town should hopefully return to its peaceful ways. Doubtful! Okay, but I have some bit un... I have some business to do before we go see Sending the War and progress the story. We now... Or have the ability to purify our shadow Pokemon. Our beloved team. So, I think we're going to do that. But not next episode. We're going to do that. And then we're going to end off. So, let's get some Pokemon that we already know have the ability to be purified. Take out Fluffy. Throw her down there. Put in Makuhita. And take out Mistrivis. Throw him down there. And put in our Quaggy boy. Our Quaggy boy! Alright, and maybe, perhaps, Swablu might be able to. Nope, we're close. Close, but no cigar, so let's heal. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Alright. Let's go purify.
They did leave behind the shiny homework, so let's click on it. This should be the last iron file, I believe. Iron file C. Yeah, it's written about Celebi. Celebi's power. The purification of Shadow Pokemon has several factors. Celebi appears to have the power to boost the purification process. If a Shadow Pokemon encounters a Celebi, it recalls how its heart was before being closed, and reverts to its original form. The Relic Stone of Agate Village also appears to have the power to complete the purification process. These factors must be eliminated if our Shadow Pokemon plans to succeed. So, let's do it. Oh, what? That's stupid. I thought we had the ability to. That's freaking dumb. That makes me mad. Okay, so I guess we have to go see Sandy Lore. God, I didn't want to make another long video, but here we go. Sandy Lore, if you recall, was in this uh, Poke or this. Nope. Said down the hill. This is down the hill. This is not down the hill. Come on, Egan. All right, you're Sandy Lore. Ah, you're Egan's beloved Torchic. No. <laughs> No way, who did you say you were? What's that you wanted to ask me, Cinelor, about Celebi? Have no fear, no problem. Forget that. Something that important, that's not going to happen. Let me start with the Relic and the Relic Forest. According to ancient lore, the Relic is said to hold the power of time travel for Celebi. That mystical power is said to revive the most pleasant, most enjoyable memories of Pokemon. If only it worked on me to bring back memories of my youth. Oh, that's so sad. What would you like to hear? What? Would you like to hear more? Yes, I would. To meet Celebi directly, you must use an item called the Time Flute. That is all one needs to bring Celebi to the Relic Forest. Celebi will surely cause darkness to flee from the hearts of any Pokemon. So if we were to come into contact with any one of these so-called Time Flutes, we can come here and purify a, poke a Shadow Pokemon that has a full Heart Gauge, no matter what. We don't have to waste time battling it. So let's go see if they have recovered any memory. Ah, looks like they have. Ah, Penny. Welcome home. I finally found the small tablet. That is the small tablet that has been passed down through our family over many generations. Examine it. I obtained the small tablet. There are words carved into the small tablet. I read the words. Inagate's mystic relic, Celebi's power shelters. A heart imprisoned by shadows, its last door shall be opened by the power within. The relic must have some effect on Shut Up Pokemon. I will leave that for your, for you to determine your for yourselves. That was stupid. Whatever. Let's go. Let's just freaking go. <laughs> I'm sick of talking. Ah, I received an email. Oh, your PDA just rang. Oh, right. It must be duking. Ah, you're stalling. All right. Emergency. Kaylin, we've got big trouble. I just got word from our people that Mount Battle's under attack by a mysterious group of thugs. Please, can you go help? We think it's the same group as the one Mirby belonged to. We're counting on you. Ooh, too bad we have previous engagements. What? Those crooks are loose on Mount Battle too? That's awful. We can't let this go on. Kaylin, let's go. Oh, wait. Grandpa, where is Mount Battle anyway? Mount Battle is to the northeast. You can see it in the distance once you leave the uh, village. Penny, please hurry. Sorry, we have prior engagements. I want to get this done before we leave, daggummit. Okay, I'll meet you back at the Relic Stone. Okay, here's what I wanted to show before. We get up to the Relic Stone, and it glows green. There's a Pokemon that may open the door to its heart. And why not? Let's start off with Croconaw here. Oh, this feels so good to finally do. I open the door to its heart. I regain the move Rain Dance. 6829. I will grow some levels now. All the experience you battle throughout will be gained at the end when everything is purified. And would you look at that? Croconaut's evolving. And I am so happy because if I chose any of the other two, they wouldn't have evolved quite yet. Croconaut evolves at level 30. So we now have... For alligator. Oh, I'm so happy to have it.
And for alligator, I obtained a ribbon. Yes, I would. I'm gonna name for alligator Croc. Because it entertains me. Is Croc okay? Yeah. So let's check out Croc, oh boy. Oh man, this feels so good to have now. Mm. Oh, this is so good. Ah, oh, I'm so happy. All right, let's do this on some more. Knocked Owl. Knocked Owl opened the door to its heart. I regained the move Steel Wing, and I get, can you tell I use Knocked Owl the most? Elevated to 31, 32, 33, and take down, ooh. Um. Nah. I don't want to. Yep. Stop trying to teach it. In level 33. And I would also like to give a nickname to Noctowl. I'm going to name Noctowl after my favorite DC superhero. Because it also is a pun and it makes the most sense. I now dub Noctowl Nightwing. Is Nightwing okay? Yes. It's such a cool name. Alright, so... Let me check on what Swablu. Oh, we can do Swablu too! Alright, let's just go! That's amazing, all that walking around actually loosened it. Cool! We're gonna have our whole team purified. That's amazing. Swablu opened the door to its heart. We gained the move, mirror move. So unfortunately, it's not going to do much. Um, I don't have a good nickname for Swablu yet, so we'll come back to it. And that's going to be all. I know I did have these two and a couple more ready to be purified, but since they're not a members of the team, I'm just going to do them off screen. So next time on Pokemon Coliseum, we are going to head off to Mount Battle and see what those ne'er-do-wells are up to. See you guys then.